Okay, everyone, as uh, those of you who follow me on Twitter know, you'll know that over the Christmas break, uh, I've been showing some love to the Atonivore here. One of the first modifications has been to mount the Knight Rider chaser I built on the front of it, where there used to be a piece of blue plastic. Uh, when I get closer to the final hardware, I'll clean that up a bit, but for now, it's in and... Well, it's hit a few things, so I don't think it's coming out anytime soon. The other thing we've managed to do is, if you look inside here, <clears throat> you'll see we've mounted the Arduino Uno on the driver's side. And over on the passenger side, we have uh, the custom PC board from the second blog post, which is responsible for driving the chaser, and also allows us a way of converting the hardware serial pins on the Arduino into something we can use with an RJ45 to DB9 adapter. Basically, uh, everything's fit back together well enough that we've been able to put uh, the battery cover back on so we no longer have to worry about it flopping around and causing all sorts of mayhem. The big red wire you see here is connected to your average everyday serial port which provides an RS-232 console for driving the truck around. And, well, let's see how she does. First of all, uh, I'm just going to flick the switch, and you'll notice that our chaser has started in uh, the truck's idle speed. Again, I, for those of you who haven't read the third post fully, uh, what's diffusing the LED is just the weight out of a set of blackout blinds we had kicking around. And the other neat thing we've done is here... You can see, oh, let me clear the screen. We have a serial console. Uh, the software I'm using here is just putty in serial mode. It's nothing special. Uh, we can request the status of the truck. Those are all the various things that knows what's going on. Uh, actually controlling it is simple. We need to give it to drive, a direction. Uh, since the speed is driven by PWM, it can be from anything from 0 to 255. We'll just go with, say, 100. Uh, we can specify a time here, but ultimately we're not going to because we just want to see the truck drive. When it starts moving, you'll notice uh, the chaser will move at a slightly different speed, so we'll just do it. And there we go. Now, since it almost hit us, we can just go drive backward. This time we won't go as far. We'll go say 200 for, I don't know, 800 milliseconds. Other things we can do is we can turn the front wheels left and right. Uh, we can also straighten them out. And there we go, folks. A monster truck that you control through a serial console.